Dalmatia, Croatian, Dalmatia, Dalmasija, see names in other languages, is one of the four historical regions of Croatia, alongside Croatia proper, Slavonia, and Istria. Dalmatia is a narrow belt of the east shore of the Adriatic Sea, stretching from the island of Rab in the north to the Bay of Kotor in the south. The hinterland Dalmatian Zagora ranges in width from 50 km in the north, to just a few kilometers in the south, it is mostly covered by the rugged Dinaric Mountains. 79 islands and about 500 islets run parallel to the coast, the largest in Dalmatia being Brak, Pag and Havar. The largest city is split, followed by Zadar, Dubrovnik and Shibanik. The name of the region stems from an Illyrian tribe called the Dalmate, who lived in the area in classical antiquity. Later it became a Roman province, and as a result a Romance culture emerged, along with the now extinct Dalmatian language, later largely replaced with related Venetian. With the arrival of Croats to the area in the 8th century, who occupied most of the hinterland, Croatian and Romance elements began to intermix in language and culture. During the Middle Ages, its cities were often conquered by, or switched allegiance to, the kingdoms of the region. The longest-lasting rule was the one of the Republic of Venice, which controlled most of Dalmatia between 1420 and 1797, with the exception of the small but stable Republic of Ragusa in the south. Between 1815 and 1918, it was a province of the Austrian Empire known as the Kingdom of Dalmatia. After the Austro-Hungarian defeat in the First World War, Dalmatia was split between the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes which controlled most of it, and the Kingdom of Italy which held several smaller parts, and after World War II, SFR Yugoslavia took complete control over the area. Name The name Dalmatia derives from the name of the Dalmate tribe. Its Latin form Dalmatia gave rise to its current English name. In the Venetian language, once dominant in the area, it is spelled Dalmatia, and in modern Italian Dalmatia. The modern Croatian spelling is Dalmatia, pronounced Dalmati Sija. Dalmatia is referenced in the New Testament at 2 Timothy 4 verse 10 so its name has been translated in many of the world's languages. Definition In antiquity the Roman province of Dalmatia was much larger than the present-day split Dalmatia county, stretching from Istria in the north to modern-day Albania in the south. Dalmatia signified not only a geographical unit, but was an entity based on common culture and settlement types, a common narrow eastern Adriatic coastal belt, Mediterranean climate, sclerophyllous vegetation of the Illyrian province, Adriatic carbonate platform, and karst geomorphology. <laughs> Modern area Dalmatia is today a historical region only, not formally instituted in Croatian law. Its exact extent is therefore uncertain and subject to public perception. According to Lina Marošević and Josip Farisic of the University of Zadar, the modern perception of Dalmatia is mainly based on the territorial extent of the Austrian Kingdom of Dalmatia, with the exception of Rab Island, which is geographically related to the Kv Arnor area and functionally to the littoral Gorski Kotar area, and with the exception of the Bay of Kotor, which was annexed to another state Montenegro after World War I simultaneously. The southern part of Lika and Upper Pounje, which were not a part of Austrian Dalmatia, became a part of Zadar County. From the present-day administrative and territorial point of view, Dalmatia comprises the four Croatian littoral counties with seats in Zadar, Šibenik, Split, and Dubrovnik. Dalmatia is therefore generally perceived to extend approximately to the borders of the Austrian Kingdom of Dalmatia. However, due to territorial and administrative changes over the past century, the perception can be seen to have altered somewhat with regard to certain areas, and sources conflict as to their being part of the region in modern times. The Bay of Kotor area in Montenegro. With the subdivision of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia into oblasts in 1922, the whole of the Bay of Kotor from Sutarina to Sutomor was granted to the Zeta Oblast, so that the border of Dalmatia was formed at that point by the southern border of the former Republic of Ragusa. The Encyclopædia Britannica defines Dalmatia as extending to the narrows of Kotor, i.e. the southernmost tip of continental Croatia, the Prevlaka Peninsula. Other sources, however, such as the Trekani Encyclopedia and the Rough Guide to Croatia", 
still include the bay as being part of the region. The island of Rab, along with the small islands of Sveti Gerger and Goli, were a part of the Kingdom of Dalmatia and are historically and culturally related to the region, but are today associated more with the Croatian littoral, due to geographical vicinity and administrative expediency. Grakak Municipality and Northern Pag. A number of sources express the view that, from the modern day administrative point of view, the extent of Dalmatia equates to the four southernmost counties of Croatia, Zadar, Šibenik Nin, Split Dalmatia, and Dubrovnik Neretva. This definition does not include the Bay of Kotor, nor the islands of Rab, Sveti Gerger, and Goli. It also excludes the northern part of the island of Pag, which is part of the Lika Senj county. However, it includes the Grakak municipality in Zadar County, which was not a part of the Kingdom of Dalmatia and is not traditionally associated with the region, but instead the region of Lika. Culture and ethnicity The inhabitants of Dalmatia are culturally subdivided into two groups. The urban families of the coastal cities, sometimes known as Fedivi, are culturally akin to the inhabitants of the Dalmatian islands known derogatorily as Boduli. The two are together distinct, in the Mediterranean aspects of their culture, from the more numerous inhabitants of the Zagora, the hinterland, referred to sometimes derogatorily as the Vlaji or Vlachs. The latter are historically more influenced by Ottoman culture, merging almost seamlessly at the border with the Herzegovinian Croats and southern Bosnia and Herzegovina in general. A large part of the agricultural population of present-day Dalmatia is descendant from Vlachs or Morlocks, the former two groups inhabitants of the islands and the cities historically included many Venetian and Italian speakers, many of whom identified as Italians especially after the unification of Italy. Their presence, relative to those identifying as Croats, decreased dramatically over the course of the 19th and the first half of the 20th century. The Italian speakers constituted, according to the Italian linguist Bartoli, nearly one-third of Dalmatians in the second half of the 18th century. According to the Austrian census it had decreased to 12.5% in 1865 and 3.1% .1 in 1890. There remains, however, a strong cultural, and, in part, ancestral heritage among the natives of the cities and islands, who today almost exclusively identify as Croats, but retain a sense of regional identity. Geography and climate Most of the area is covered by Dinaric Alps mountain ranges running from northwest to southeast. On the coasts the climate is Mediterranean, while further inland it is moderate Mediterranean. In the mountains, winters are frosty and snowy, while summers are hot and dry. To the south winters are milder. Over the centuries many forests have been cut down and replaced with bush and brush. There is evergreen vegetation on the coast. The soils are generally poor, except on the plains where areas with natural grass, fertile soils and warm summers provide an opportunity for tillage. Elsewhere, land cultivation is mostly unsuccessful because of the mountains, hot summers and poor soils, although olives and grapes flourish. Energy resources are scarce. Electricity is mainly produced by hydropower stations. There is a considerable amount of bauxite. The largest Dalmatian mountains are Dinara, Masor, Svilaya, Biokovo, Mozik, Veliki Kozyak and Mali Kozyak. The regional geographical unit of historical Dalmatia the coastal region between Istria and the Gulf of Kotor includes the Orion Mountains with the highest peak in Montenegro, 1,894 meters. In present-day Dalmatia, the highest peak is Dinara, 1,913 meters, which is not a coastal mountain, while the highest coastal Dinaric Mountains are on Biokovo (SV), Juri, 1,762 meters, and Velbit Vigansky VRH, 1,757 meters. Although the Vigansky VRH itself is located in Lika Senj County, the largest Dalmatian islands are Brak, Korčula, Dugi Otok, Mljet, Vis, Havar, Pag, and Pasman. The major rivers are Zr Manja, Kirka, Satina, and Naretva. The Adriatic Sea's high water quality, along with the immense number of coves, islands and channels, makes Dalmatia an attractive place for nautical races, nautical tourism, and tourism in general. Dalmatia also includes several national parks that are tourist attractions, Paklenica Karst River, Kornati Archipelago, Kirka River Rapids and Mljet Island. 
Administrative division The area of Dalmatia roughly corresponds to Croatia's four southernmost counties, listed here north to south. Other large Dalmatian cities include Biograd, Castella, Sinj, Solin, Omis, Nin, Metković, Makarska, Trogir, Ploče and Imotski. History Antiquity Dalmatia's name is derived from the name of an Illyrian tribe called the Dalmatae who lived in the area of the eastern Adriatic coast in the 1st millennium BC. It was part of the Illyrian kingdom between the 4th century BC and the Illyrian Wars 220-168 BC when the Roman Republic established its protectorate south of the river Neretva. The name, Dalmatia was in use probably from the second half of the 2nd century BC and certainly from the first half of the 1st century BC, defining a coastal area of the eastern Adriatic between the Kirka and Naretva rivers. It was slowly incorporated into Roman possessions until the Roman province of Illyricum was formally established around 32–27 BC. In 9 AD the Dalmatians raised the last in a series of revolts together with the Pannonians, but it was finally crushed, and in 10 AD, Illyricum was split into two provinces, Pannonia and Dalmatia which spread into larger area inland to cover all of the Dinaric Alps and most of the eastern Adriatic coast. The historian Theodore Mommsen wrote in his book, The Provinces of the Roman Empire, that all Dalmatia was fully Romanized by the 4th century AD. However, analysis of archaeological material from that period has shown that the process of Romanization was rather selective. While urban centers, both coastal and inland, were almost completely Romanized, the situation in the countryside was completely different. Despite the Illyrians being subject to a strong process of acculturation, they continued to speak their native language, worship their own gods and traditions, and follow their own social political tribal organization, which was adapted to Roman administration and political structure only in some necessities. The collapse of the Western Roman Empire, with the beginning of the Migration Period, left the region subject to Gothic rulers, Odoacer and Theodoric the Great. They ruled Dalmatia from 480 to 535 AD, when it was restored to the Eastern Byzantine Empire by Justinian I. Topic: <inaudible> Middle Ages. The Middle Ages in Dalmatia were a period of intense rivalry among neighboring powers: the waning Byzantine Empire, the Kingdom of Croatia (later in a personal union with Hungary), the Grand Principality of Serbia, the Bosnian Kingdom, and the Venetian Republic. Dalmatia at the time consisted of the coastal cities functioning much like city-states, with extensive autonomy, but in mutual conflict and without control of the rural hinterland, the Zagora. Ethnically, Dalmatia started out as a Roman region, with a Romance culture that began to develop independently, forming the now extinct Dalmatian language. In the early medieval period, Byzantine Dalmatia was ravaged by an Avar invasion that destroyed its capital, Salona, in 639 AD, an event that allowed for the settlement of the nearby Diocletian's palace in Spalatum split by Salonitans, greatly increasing the importance of the city. The Avars were followed by the Great South Slavic migrations. The Slavs, loosely allied with the Avars, permanently settled the region in the first half of the 7th century AD and remained its predominant ethnic group ever since. The Croats soon formed their own realm, the Principality of Dalmatian Croatia, ruled by native princes of Guduscan origin. The meaning of the geographical term, Dalmatia, now shrunk to the coastal cities and their immediate hinterland. These cities were the Romance-speaking Dalmatian city-states and remained influential as they were well fortified and maintained their connection with the Byzantine Empire. The original name of the cities was Jadera, Spalatum, Crespa, Arba, Trigorium, Vecla, Ragusium and Caterum. The language and the laws were initially Latin, but after a few centuries they developed their own Neo-Latin language, the Dalmatico, that lasted until the 19th century. The cities were maritime centers with a huge commerce mainly with the Italian peninsula and with the growing Republic of Venice. The two communities were somewhat hostile at first, but as the Croats became Christianized this tension increasingly subsided. A degree of cultural mingling soon took place, in some enclaves stronger, in others weaker, as Slavic influence and culture was more accentuated in Ragusa, Spalatum, and Trigorium. In about 925 AD, Duke Tomislav was crowned, establishing the Kingdom of Croatia, and extending his influence further southwards to Zaklumia. 
Being an ally of the Byzantine Empire, the king was given the status of protector of Dalmatia, and became its de facto ruler. In the high medieval period, the Byzantine Empire was no longer able to maintain its power consistently in Dalmatia, and was finally rendered impotent so far west by the Fourth Crusade in 1204. The Venetian Republic, on the other hand, was in the ascendant, while the Kingdom of Croatia became increasingly influenced by Hungary to the north, being absorbed into it via personal union in 1102. Thus, these two factions became involved in a struggle in this area, intermittently controlling it as the balance shifted. During the reign of King Emmerich, the Dalmatian cities separated from Hungary by a treaty. A consistent period of Hungarian rule in Dalmatia was ended with the Mongol invasion of Hungary in 1241. The Mongols severely impaired the feudal state, so much so that that same year, King Bela IV had to take refuge in Dalmatia, as far south as the Klis fortress. The Mongols attacked the Dalmatian cities for the next few years but eventually withdrew without major success. In the south, due to its protected location, Kotor became a major city for the salt trade. The area flourished during the 14th century under the rule of Serbian Emperor Dusan the Mighty, who was notorious for his aggressive law enforcement, and made the Bay of Kotor a particularly safe place for doing business. In 1389 TVRTKOI, the founder of the Bosnian Kingdom, was able to control the Adriatic littoral between Kotor and Šibenik, and even claimed control over the northern coast up to Rijeka, and his own independent ally, Dubrovnik Ragusa. This was only temporary, as Hungary and the Venetians continued their struggle over Dalmatia after Tvrtko's death in 1391. By this time, the whole Hungarian and Croatian kingdom was facing increasing internal difficulties, as a 20-year civil war ensued between the Capetian House of Anjou from the Kingdom of Naples, and King Sigismund of the House of Luxembourg. During the war, the losing contender, Ladislaus of Naples, sold his rights on Dalmatia to the Venetian Republic for a mere 100,000 ducats. The much more centralized republic came to control all of Dalmatia by the year 1420, it was to remain under Venetian rule for 377 years 1420 <laughs> Early modern period 1420 From 1420 to 1797 the Republic of Venice controlled most of Dalmatia, calling it Asclavonia in the 15th century with the southern enclave, the Bay of Kotor, being called Albania Veneta. Venetian was the commercial lingua franca in the Mediterranean at that time, and it heavily influenced Dalmatian and to a lesser degree coastal Croatian and Albanian. The southern city of Ragusa Dubrovnik became de facto independent in 1358 through the Treaty of Zadar when Venice relinquished its suzerainty over it to Louis I of Hungary. In 1481, Ragusa switched allegiance to the Ottoman Empire. This gave its tradesmen advantages such as access to the Black Sea, and the Republic of Ragusa was the fiercest competitor to Venice's merchants in the 15th and 16th centuries. The Republic of Venice was also one of the powers most hostile to the Ottoman Empire's expansion, and participated in many wars against it. As the Ottomans took control of the hinterland, many Christians took refuge in the coastal cities of Dalmatia. The border between the Dalmatian hinterland and the Ottoman Bosnia and Herzegovina greatly fluctuated until the Marine War, when the Venetian capture of Nin and Sinj set much of the borderline at its current position. After the Great Turkish War and the Peace of Pasarowitz, more peaceful times made Dalmatia experience a period of certain economic and cultural growth in the 18th century, with the re-establishment of trade and exchange with the hinterland. This period was abruptly interrupted with the fall of the Republic of Venice in 1797. Napoleon's troops stormed the region and ended the independence of the Republic of Ragusa as well, saving it from occupation by the Russian Empire and Montenegro. In 1805, Napoleon created his Kingdom of Italy around the Adriatic Sea, annexing to it the former Venetian Dalmatia from Istria to Kotor. In 1808 he annexed to this Italian kingdom the just-conquered Republic of Ragusa. A year later in 1809 he removed the Venetian Dalmatia from his Kingdom of Italy and created the Illyrian provinces, which were annexed to France, and created his Marshal Nicholas Soult Duke of Dalmatia. Napoleon's rule in Dalmatia was marked with war and high taxation, which caused several rebellions. 
On the other hand, French rule greatly contributed to Croatian national awakening. The first newspaper in Croatian was published then in Zadar, the Il Regio Dalmata, Kralski Dalmatin. The legal system and infrastructure were finally modernized somewhat in Dalmatia, and the educational system flourished. French rule brought a lot of improvements in infrastructure, many roads were built or reconstructed. Napoleon himself blamed Marshal Auguste Marmont, the governor of Dalmatia, that too much money was spent. However, in 1813, the Habsburgs once again declared war on France and, by the following year, had restored control over Dalmatia. 19th century At the Congress of Vienna in 1815, Dalmatia was granted as a province to the Emperor of Austria. It was officially known as the Kingdom of Dalmatia. In 1848, the Croatian Assembly Sabor published the People's Requests, in which they requested among other things the abolition of serfdom and the unification of Dalmatia and Croatia. The Dubrovnik municipality was the most outspoken of all the Dalmatian communes in its support for unification with Croatia. A letter was sent from Dubrovnik to Zagreb with pledges to work for this idea. In 1849, Dubrovnik continued to lead the Dalmatian cities in the struggle for unification. A large-scale campaign was launched in the Dubrovnik paper Lavenir the future, based on a clearly formulated program, the federal system for the Habsburg territories, the inclusion of Dalmatia into Croatia and the Slavic Brotherhood. The president of the Council of Kingdom of Dalmatia was the politician Baron Vlahog Etaldic. In the same year, the first issue of the Dubrovnik Almanac appeared, Flower of the National Literature Dubrovnik, Svijet Narodnogkanjazestva, in which Petr Priradovic published his noted poem. To Dubrovnik. This and other literary and journalistic texts, which continued to be published, contributed to the awakening of the national consciousness reflected in efforts to introduce the Croatian language into schools and offices, and to promote Croatian books. The Emperor Franz Joseph brought the so called imposed constitution, which prohibited the unification of Dalmatia and Croatia and also any further political activity with this end in view. The political struggle of Dubrovnik to be united with Croatia, which was intense throughout 1848–49, did not succeed at that time. In 1861 was the meeting of the First Dalmatian Assembly, with representatives from Dubrovnik. Representatives of KOTOR came to Dubrovnik to join the struggle for unification with Croatia. The citizens of Dubrovnik gave them a festive welcome, flying Croatian flags from the ramparts and exhibiting the slogan, Ragusa with KOTOR. The Katorans elected a delegation to go to Vienna. Dubrovnik nominated Niko Pusik, who went to Vienna to demand not only the unification of Dalmatia with Croatia, but also the unification of all Croatian territories under one common assembly. At the end of the First World War, the Austrian Empire disintegrated, and Dalmatia was again split between the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes later the Kingdom of Yugoslavia which controlled most of it, and the Kingdom of Italy which held small portions of northern Dalmatia around Zadar and the islands of Kress, Losinj and Lestovo. Italy entered the First World War in a territorial gamble, mostly to gain Dalmatia. But Italy got only a small part of its pretensions, so Dalmatia mostly stayed Yugoslav until Benito Mussolini invaded Yugoslavia in 1941 and occupied the region until 1945. 20th century In 1905 a dispute arose in the Austrian Reichsrat over whether Austria should pay for Dalmatia. It has been argued that in the conclusion of the so-called April Laws is written, given by Banis Count Keglovich of Buzin, which explained the historical affiliation of Dalmatia to Hungary. Two years later, Dalmatia elected representatives to the Austrian Reichsrat. Dalmatia was a strategic region during World War I that both Italy and Serbia intended to seize from Austria Hungary. Italy joined the Triple Entente Allies in 1915 upon agreeing to the London Pact that guaranteed Italy the right to annex a large portion of Dalmatia in exchange for Italy's participation on the Allied side. From 5 to 6 November 1918, Italian forces were reported to have reached Lissa, Lagosta, Sebenico, and other localities on the Dalmatian coast. By the end of hostilities in November 1918, the Italian military had seized control of the entire portion of Dalmatia that had been guaranteed to Italy by the London Pact and by 17 November had seized Rijeka as well. In 1918, Admiral Enrico Millo declared himself Italy's governor of Dalmatia. 
Famous Italian nationalist Gabriele D'Annunzio supported the seizure of Dalmatia, and proceeded to Zadar in an Italian warship in December 1918. In 1922, the territory of the former Kingdom of Dalmatia was divided into two provinces the district of Split, Splitska Oblast, with its capital in Split, and the district of Dubrovnik, Dubrovačka Oblast, with its capital in Dubrovnik. In 1929, the literal Bonavina Primorska Bonavina, a province of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia, was formed. Its capital was split, and it included most of Dalmatia and parts of present-day Bosnia and Herzegovina. The southern parts of Dalmatia were in Zeta Bonavina, from the Gulf of Kotor to Peljasak Peninsula including Dubrovnik. In 1939, literal Bonavina was joined with Sava Bonavina and with smaller parts of other Bonavinas to form a new province named the Bonavina of Croatia. The same year, the ethnic Croatian areas of the Zeta Bonavina from the Gulf of Kotor to Peljasak, including Dubrovnik, were merged with a new Bonavina of Croatia. During World War II, in 1941, Nazi Germany, Fascist Italy, Hungary and Bulgaria occupied Yugoslavia, redrawing their borders to include former parts of the Yugoslavian state. A new Nazi puppet state, the Independent State of Croatia NDH, was created, and Fascist Italy was given some parts of the Dalmatian coast, notably around Zadar and Split, as well as many of the area's islands. The remaining parts of Dalmatia became part of the NDH. Many Croats moved from the Italian-occupied area and took refuge in the satellite state of Croatia, which became the battleground for a guerrilla war between the Axis and the Yugoslav partisans. Following the surrender of Italy in 1943, most of Italian-controlled Dalmatia was reverted to Croatian control. Zadar was raised by the Allies during World War II, starting the exodus of its Italian population. After World War II, Dalmatia became part of the People's Republic of Croatia, part of the SFR Yugoslavia then called the Federative People's Republic of Yugoslavia. The territory of former Kingdom of Dalmatia was divided between two federal republics of Yugoslavia and most of the territory went to Croatia, leaving only the Bay of Kotor to Montenegro. When Yugoslavia dissolved in 1991, those borders were retained and remain in force. During the Croatian War of Independence, most of Dalmatia was a battleground between the Croatian government and local Serb rebels, with much of the region being placed under the control of Serbs. Croatia did regain southern parts of these territories in 1992 but did not regain all of the territory until 1995. Topic: <inaudible> Cities by population. Split 178,102, Zadar 75,082, Shibenik Topic Gallery Topic See also History of Dalmatia Dalmate Libernia Topic References Topic External Links The Dictionary Definition of Dalmatia at Wiktionary Media related to Dalmatia at Wikimedia Commons Dalmatia Travel Guide from Wikivoyage Dalmatia.hr, official website of Split Dalmatian County in Croatian Dalmatia. Our, official website of Croatian Tourism Board for Dalmatia.